one book, six stories, or one story from six different angles. Lol, what did I just read? Hey, Cap Nation, it's V. Today we are going down the rabbit hole that is The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. This is a book that's a tapestry of six stories, seemingly unrelated, but very much intertwined. It's one of those books that makes you ask, what on earth am I reading? That keeps you hooked because you're having a really good time trying to figure it out. We're going to discuss what I thought it did well, what it did poorly, and who I think is going to love this book. And as always, who would probably rather pass on it. As always, if you have feelings about this, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And if you come here often, consider joining the Calf Nation by subscribing. Zachary Ezra Rollins. That's a name that you hear a lot in this book, and that's because he's the main character. Or rather, he's the main character if any singular character in this book could be considered the main character. There's a lot going on, folks. He is a gay grad student who studies video games and story. One day in the library, he comes across this old, poorly recorded book that just happens to have part of his life written down in the pages. This leads him on a wild ride as he tries to figure out what comes next for him and where his story goes. The best thing that this book has going for it is the writing. It's so beautiful and eloquent and just has such pretty words. Yeah, I know that that's probably not like the best way to say it, but there's a reason that I do book reviews on YouTube and don't write novels. Almost every single story in this book can stand on its own, with a plot and a beginning, middle, and end that just fit together nicely and is just succinct and well-packaged. Each story is also narrated by a different person in the audiobook, which is really cool because it makes you feel like you're at a storytelling convention instead of, you know, in your car, on the toilet, or wherever you consume audiobooks. I'm not judging. The Starless Sea is also a really cool mix of portal fantasy and urban fantasy, since about half the story does take place in the real world. The entire story is so surreal and beautiful, and it just draws you in and makes you wonder what happens next. Next. And now for the bad stuff. This is a very convoluted and very long-winded book. Morgan Stern wrote a story in probably the most roundabout way possible. And there were times when the characters would just pop in and out and I had to go back and think and remember where I'd seen these people before. And fair warning, if you're a reader that doesn't really like flowery language, then you're probably going to want to pick something else out because this has very flowery language. It's beautiful, but I don't think everybody likes that. Also, I don't think that the story is all tied together at the end quite the way that I hoped they would. To me, there was just so much buildup to the ending, and then it just ended, and that was kind of meh for me. I fell in love with this book when I first started reading it, but I don't think it held that same level of awesome all the way through the story. If you love beautiful writing and surreal takes on what a story is, then you're going to love this book. And if you decide to pick it up, I truly hope that you love it. And I also think that this is one of those books that's well-written, even though it's not one of my favorites. Because a book can be good and just not what you're looking for, and that's okay. If you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button and join the Calf Nation. We would love to have you. I publish bookish videos every single week, and I'd love to see you again. Leave me a comment down below if you have any thoughts or feelings, and if you think that I just suck as a booktuber, leave me a comment down below and I will try to suck better next time. Bye!